Welcome to our daily devotional series, The Daily Herald. I pray that these messages will come to you as an encouragement and a reminder to be heralds of the Lord daily. God bless you. By words and by example, August 14. And the common people heard him gladly. Mark 12, 37. Christ passed no human being by as worthless and hopeless, but sought to apply the saving remedy to every soul who needed help. However he was found, he had a lesson to present that was the right one for the time and circumstance. He sought to inspire with hope the most rough and unpromising, setting before them the idea that they might become blameless and harmless and attain a character that would be Christ-like. They could be the children of God and shine as lights in the world, even though they lived among evil people. This was the reason that so many heard him gladly. From his very childhood, he worked for others, letting his light shine amid the moral darkness of the world. In bearing burdens in his home life and in laboring in more public fields, he showed everyone what the character of God is. He encouraged everything that had a bearing on the real interests of life. But he did not encourage the youth in dreaming of what could be in the future. He told them by his words and by his example that the future would be decided by the way in which they spent the present. Our destiny is marked out by our own course of action. Those who cherish that which is right, who work out God's plan, though it be in a narrow sphere of action, and those who do right because it is right, will find wider fields of usefulness. It is our privilege now to act in a part in the work and mission of Christ. We may be laborers together with Him. In whatever work we are called to engage, we may work with Christ. He is doing all that He can to set us free, to make our lives that seem so cramped and narrow reach out to help and bless others. He would have us understand that we are held responsible to do good and have us realize that in shunning our work, we are bringing loss upon ourselves. Jesus carried the burden of the salvation of the human family upon his heart. He knew that unless men and women would receive him and become changed in purpose and life, they would be eternally lost. This was the burden of his soul, and he was alone in carrying this load. No one knew how heavy was the weight that rested upon his heart. But from his youth, he was filled with a deep longing to be a lamp in the world. And he purposed that his life should be the light of the world. This he was, and that light still shines to all who are in darkness. Let us walk in the light which he has given.